and the Kessel family. That CD was played as our marching song, Wayne and I, every time we went to Vegas in the last nine months for doctor appointments, for treatments, tests, surgery. I listened to that and I prayed through that song, that message. It was all the songs, Linda. It speaks to my heart. You are such a blessing to me. I thank you so much. Pray with me for a minute. Father God, use me this morning, Lord. May my words be your words. Father, thank you for this opportunity. Amen. As I begin today, I'll be sharing from excerpts from a journal that I kept the last nine months. Also, my favorite, and many of you know my devotional book, Sarah Young, Jesus Calling. And then my own prayers and writings throughout the different times. So hopefully it won't be too confusing for you. My journey started last fall when I asked God to let me help with grief share. I know many of you think that's strange, but as we gathered our first night, Jim Higby and Jeannie Cole and myself, and I think there were nine women around the table, I left on the way home and I was going, Lord, I want to be there and understand what these women are going through, but I haven't experienced this kind of grief. Not one like that. My father had died 36 years ago. But I had never lost a spouse or a child. And I cried out to the Lord, help me. I want to be there to help. I remember, however, it wasn't long after that that my journey really heated up. On the night of our welcome back barbecue, I sat down that evening to rest after all the work, and I remember feeling a lump in my right breast. I immediately called the doctor, had an ultrasound, and was told, don't worry, it's nothing. Come back and see us in a year. I'm so thankful that my doctor didn't feel good about that. And she said, you know, I think you need to go to a specialist in Vegas. So the readings start right after the biopsy was done a few days earlier. This was on December 13th. In the devotional book it says, quote, I am taking care of you. Feel the warmth and security of being involved in my loving presence. Every detail of your life is under my control. I prayed, thank you, Lord. I will trust you as I walk each day. Yesterday was a hard day, an emotional roller coaster as I heard the word cancer. That's something someone else has, not me. We don't have this stuff in our lives. All right, taking each day, one day at a time. Today, we're going to try to be as normal as possible. We were making apple pies, Christmas cookies, going to a party. I'm going to trust God to carry the heavy stuff. On 12-14, I wrote, Good morning, Lord. In your word to me today, you asked me to lay my requests before you and wait in expectation. Waiting and trusting are ever so closely connected. The more you trust me, the more you can wait with a positive attitude. Thinking about what I need as I begin the journey <coughs> is listening ears for you, Lord. Not new, too much information from family and friends. I'm not able to hear too much right now. I want to stay positive. And I know everyone means well. It's just hard for me to think much beyond today. On December 19th, up and down, 
That's what I'm feeling. Tossed at sea, Lord. Help me put you in control of my life. Help me see this as an opportunity to grow in you. Confident that you are in charge. Help me to make the right decision. And then give me peace that goes with it. Thank you, Lord, for this bump in the road as it brings me closer to you. I soon learned what it was to experience loss. Loss of my life as I had known it. Overwhelming sadness, loneliness, living moment to moment, day to day, these are all feelings of grief. Yes, Lord, I get it. I get it, Lord. December 30th. I'm leading you along a way that is uniquely right for you. The closer to me you grow, the more fully you become your true self, the one I designed. Father, I wrote, I'm afraid this is becoming more real. My life is about to change forever. Today is my pet scan. Tomorrow is decision time. Help me know what path is right for me. I need grief. The stage of grieving my life as it was. Now I don't know what lies ahead. Months, years. Can this be true? I'm still trying to plan January. And now I have to wait and see what happens. I'm afraid, but I trust you, Lord. December 31st. Yesterday was such a hard day. Nothing to eat or drink. The test was until 1.30 and lasted till 3. An emotional roller coaster day. I wrote, God is good all the time. Today's scripture talks about God like an eagle that soars up to its nest, that hovers over its young, and he spreads his wings and catches us. They wanted to change my appointment. They wanted to make it a week from now. I cried out to the Lord, no, no, I can't wait. And he heard me. Thank you, Lord. Today, I see the oncologist. Today, we make a decision, an action plan. We get the results of the PET scan. Lord, I pray you'll be there with me, holding me and wrapping your arms around me. New Year's Day. Wow, so much has happened in these last couple weeks. Yesterday was even harder than the day before. Spot in my lungs? We are in shock. Wayne and I spent New Year's Eve not with friends, but huddled in bed crying. But today, today is a new day. Beautiful sunshine. There will be tears, Lord. But God has promised to be here with us. New drugs, Dr. Jacks, the oncologist says, we can get this. I will put my trust in God and medicine. No more tears. I can do this. I want to live. God is with me. Whom shall I fear? No one, not even the C word. Enjoy today. Thank you. Each day has been a journey. Chemo treatments, surgeries, tests, blood draws, lots and lots of needles. But God, he knows me. I feel his presence. And I cannot thank you, my dear brothers and sisters, enough for all of your cards, your phone calls, the prayer shawl ministry, the woobly blanket that went with me to chemo every time makes you smile. My silly hat from Donna to keep me warm when I have no hair. You are all such a blessing to me. 
I thank you. I thank you for your love. And I look out in here, and I see God. I see his presence in you. I feel it in your hugs and in your words. I cannot tell you how much I feel that love. I especially want to tell my dear husband how much I love him. He has been my rock and my best caregiver anyone could ever have. Thank you so much, dear. This has been a nine-month walk, and it's not completely over, but I am cancer-free, and I choose to stay healed. There is infusion treatments until December, a small surgery next year, but the worst is behind me. I want to close with the words from the song that you just heard. I trust you, Lord. I trust in you. I trust in you, Lord. I trust in you. Everything, Lord, your word is true. You pick me up when I am down. You set my feet on solid ground. I'll trust in you, Lord. I'll trust in you.